Okay, guys, so here are the directions for our counting atoms graded activity. There is a calculator on here, and I will show you how to use that. And here are some reminders. Your subscript is that small number behind the element, and it tells you the number of atoms. Your coefficient is it a big number in the front, and it tells you the number of molecules. And then remember to distribute you or multiply a subscript outside the parentheses to all the elements that are inside okay and then when you're distributing a coefficient you distribute it to each element and you multiply by that element subscript if there is no subscript or coefficient then that means there is one okay so you have five attempts I'm only going to do a few of these okay So, this question says, how many molecules are in the following compound? Okay, I'm pretty sure I can highlight the text. How many molecules? So, how do we determine how many molecules are in a compound? How many molecules? How, what, what do we use in this formula to determine the number of molecules? We use the coefficient, which is the big number. So I see a big five in front of this compound. That means there are five molecules. Um, if you guys want to, you can eliminate answer choices. So I'm going to eliminate. Just so you know, that's a strategy you can use on this activity. Okay. So how many elements are present? So if we do our T-chart, we write elements and we list them. We have capital letter MG, we have a capital P, and a capital O. So how many elements is that? Three elements, okay? All right, this says how many atoms of carbon are present. So this is where you want to do that T-chart. And I'm going to do my best to do it on this notepad. So I'm going to list my elements. Okay, I have a capital N, A, capital C, capital H, capital O. So you have to distribute this coefficient. If you look, guys, there's a coefficient here, okay? So with that coefficient, that means I have two atoms of sodium. Then we multiply our coefficient by the subscript. So sodium has no subscript, that means one. So two times one is two. Multiply our coefficient to carbon subscript is 4. Multiply your coefficient to hydrogen subscript is 6. And multiply your coefficient to oxygen subscript is 4. Okay? So we just counted the elements and the atoms. So the question said, how many atoms of carbon? Four. Four atoms of carbon. Okay, this question asks what the total number of atoms are. Okay, yeah. So, we have the right compound. I just need to change this. So our compound is NACHO, N-A-C-H-O. For N-A in this version, there's no coefficient or subscript, so there's one atom. For carbon, my subscript is two, so that means there are two atoms. For hydrogen, my subscript is three, so there are three atoms. And then oxygen has a subscript of two for two atoms. So now I'm going to use my calculator. One atom of sodium plus two atoms of carbon 
plus three atoms of hydrogen plus two atoms of oxygen. So one, two, three, two equals eight. Okay? Now let me find a harder one. Okay, so this next example, it's asking for the total number of atoms in this compound. So we don't have a coefficient, but we do have parentheses. And when you have parentheses, you need to distribute that subscript to every element inside the parentheses. So step one is to write your elements. I have BA, BL, and O. Um, now you count your atoms. BA has no subscript and it's outside the parentheses, so I only have one atom of barium. Chlorine is inside the parentheses, so it, this two right here that's outside is going to be distributed to it. So chlorine has one atom inside the parentheses times my subscript of two gives me two total atoms. Oxygen has a subscript of three inside the parentheses, but I also have to distribute this two to oxygen because it's inside. This two gets distributed to everything inside the parentheses. So two times three tells me I have six atoms of oxygen. And the question's asking for the total number of atoms, so I just need to add them up. One plus two plus six equals nine. So this compound has nine total atoms. Okay? So here we have a coefficient, we have parentheses, and a subscript outside. So the first step is to get rid of those parentheses. So let me record my elements. We have Mg, O, H, okay? Um, we distribute this two to both of these elements inside the parentheses. So it's MgO2H2. I wonder if I can rewrite that. MgO little two. I can't make my two small on here. There. And then I have a big two in the front. So what I just did on my notepad, that's not necessarily right. And if I was doing this on scratch paper, these twos would be small, just like it is here. But it's so that you can see that I distributed this two to everything inside the parentheses. And now I'm going to distribute my coefficient. And when we distribute, we multiply. So two times magnesium, which has a subscript of, we don't write the subscript of one. So magnesium has one atom times two. So there's two total atoms of magnesium, two groups of magnesium. Two times oxygen's two is four. Two times hydrogen's two is four. Okay, so the total number of atoms of oxygen is four. So we want to get rid of our parentheses first. I'm writing my elements down and I'm going to count, I'm going to distribute. So for barium, I distribute my coefficient to barium, so that means I have two total atoms of barium. With chlorine, it's inside the parentheses, so I distribute this two first. Okay, so chlorine has two atoms, but I'm going to multiply that by my coefficient. So chlorine has four total atoms. Oxygen, I'm going to distribute this two to oxygen, so that gives me six total atoms of oxygen, but then I need to multiply that by my coefficient. So six total atoms of oxygen here times the two means overall there are 12 atoms of oxygen. So 
So the total number of atoms that are present in this compound is going to be 2 plus 4 plus 12. 18.